This video illustrates the Sunburst Visualization System and three Focus Plus Context techniques for examining small peripheral items in the display. Shown here is an example computer file and directory structure. The Sunburst interface has three main regions. The file display area on the left, the control panel in the upper right, and the color legend at the lower right. To begin, only the root directory or folder is shown, but the viewer can step deeper into the hierarchy via interface controls. Each successive level of files and directories is shown further from the center. White slices represent directories and colored slices represent files. The angle swept out by a slice corresponds directly to the file or directory's size. The color of a slice normally represents the file type. Alternatively, color can represent when a file was last modified. Here the red files have been changed recently, while the dark blue files have not been modified in many years. The main problem with this type of visualization is the thin size of small peripheral files that makes it difficult to see and analyze them. Some examples are being pointed out here. When files are so thin, they become virtually indistinguishable. We have developed three Focus Plus Context visualization and interaction techniques to address this problem. Shown first is the angular detail method. When a directory is selected via a double click, we shrink the entire structure Highlight the directory, move the structure to its opposite boundary, and expand the selected directory and its children. User interface controls allow the viewer to adjust radii and sweep angles of the focus directories and files. The technique uses smooth animation and contextual layout to help the viewer track interface transitions and examine the selected peripheral items. Note that in addition to selecting a focus item from the normal view, a user can select a new focus item from the shrunken overview as well as from the enhanced focus region of the visualization. This may assist the viewer to select items that are too small to be distinguishable in the overview. Here, we select a relatively interior focus directory in order to examine all its children in more detail. The second visualization and interaction technique is called Detail Outside. In this method, the entire structure is shrunk in the center of the display and the selected directory is drawn in a new circular region surrounding this overview. The directory's children are displayed outside it as well. This technique provides a larger angular area for showing the focus items than the angular detail method does, but it lacks the geographical orientation between focus and overview that method exhibited. Like the angular detail method, new focus items can be selected from the overview or the focus regions as well. The third and final technique we have developed is called detail inside. In this method, the overview of the entire structure is pushed outward and the focus items are drawn inside it. This technique is conceptually simul similar to detail outside, but it does exhibit quite a different appearance. One advantage of this method is that small files in the overview are more distinguishable due to their distance from the center and corresponding longer circumference. Note again the use of smooth animated transitions between display states as well as the contextual use of an overview of the entire structure in order to help viewers browse the file system without becoming disoriented. Finally, we'll select an extremely small peripheral directory to focus on and quickly illustrate the three techniques again in reverse order. Shown first is the detail inside method, next is the detail outside method, finally the angular detail method is illustrated. 